Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel, it's Mika. So I have been on YouTube for about a year now and I figure it is time for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. So I asked you guys on Instagram and on a previous YouTube video to ask me your questions, whatever you want to ask me, and I will try to get through as many questions as I can and give you the answers. So I have my coffee and I am ready to get started. Okay, so the first question is from Mackenzie. Hi, Mackenzie. Um, she asked me, have you always lived in California? Yes, I have. Um, California born and raised. Do you like being a nurse? I love being a nurse. Um, I've said this thousands of times, like all of the struggle of nursing school was well worth it. I love my job so much. Um, when did you really start loving makeup and when did your collection really start to grow? So I loved, I started loving makeup about seven, six years ago actually. Um, I didn't wear makeup at all previously and I was googling something about hair and like a beauty video popped up and it just <laughs> opened up a whole new world for me and that's when everything kind of started and then my collection really started growing um, probably about uh, I would say four years ago. Next question, MCP asked me, what is your favorite all-time lippy? I think that is the hardest question ever in life. I love so many. I could not just pick one. There's no way that that's happening. TR Jones asked me, what made you get into making videos for YouTube and how old are you? So, uh, I don't know. I've been wanting, to, like, I had been watching videos for a couple years and I just fell in love with it and it's something that I really 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 wanted to start doing but of course you know you're nervous you're scared um, and just I don't know last year I was like you know what I was kind of like settled in my career um, I only work three days a week I had four days off so I said it's perfect so let me just start filming videos and I did and I love it and I will continue to do it for as long as I can <laughs> She also asked me, how old are you? I am 29 years old, people, 29. Jasmine Lene asked me, when did you first start collecting makeup? About seven years ago. Steph and Stuff asked me, how does your hubby feel about you buying loads of makeup? Um, he <laughs> At first, he didn't understand it. I did not wear makeup when I met my husband. I did not wear any at all. So at first he's like, dude, like, all of a sudden, why are you wearing this makeup? Who are you even trying to impress? But he understands now that I love it and it's like my passion it's like what I love to do so he doesn't say anything anymore because he has a hobby of his own he collects guns he has lots and lots of guns so he doesn't say anything because when he does see me come home with a makeup bag um, I say excuse me what did you say about your guns and he shuts up so yeah he is supportive I guess you could say <laughs> She also asked me one place you would like to travel to. I would love to go to Ghana, which is in Africa. That is where my father is from. Um, he has a house out there. He's been wanting me to go for years and years now. It just hasn't been a good opportunity. So um, if I were to leave the country, that's the first place I would go is to Ghana. Five products you cannot live without. My NARS Creamy Concealer, Chapstick, um, uh, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I can't not have brows. A lip product, I think it would be, have to be the Kat Von D Lolita, because you can just rock that every day. Mascara of any kind, I don't care. Renata Megan 5 asked me, what's something you wish you were better at makeup wise? Eyeliner. I think everybody has those days where one eyeliner looks bomb and the other one looks all janky So I wish I was like the winged eyeliner queen. That's one thing. I wish I was better at um, Jay de Robin. Hey girl. She always leaves comments. Um, she asked me what do you use for your vlogging lighting equipment? I use um, I have two umbrella lights and then a stellar ring light and then my camera is a Canon Rebel T3i How long did it take you to notice? 
notice a difference in your makeup application from being a novice to being confident. Um, it took me, I, I'm still not 100% confident, but I think I've gotten to the point now where I'm pretty, I'm okay, I'm, I'm pretty decent. So it's been over the past year and a half that I've kind of evolved and um, hon kind of honed in my skills and I've gotten a lot better. This super Sisney asked me, what is your favorite concealer and foundation? My favorite concealer is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And then my favorite foundation at the moment is my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. PG Beauty asked me, favorite TV show and or movie? Favorite TV show, I have multiple. I have Scandal. I have Grey's Anatomy. Um, I love the first 48. I don't, I don't know why. Once Upon a Time. I've been watching a lot. I love reality television shows. I don't know. And movie. My favorite movie. I, lo I couldn't even narrow that question down. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sarah Faith XX asked me, if you could only use one makeup brand for the rest of your life, which would you choose? NARS. Love to Love 77 asked, if you had to pick a quad or palette, which is your biggest disappointment, what would it be? The Kat Von D, um, I don't even know the name. I'll put it here. I just, it's funny, I just returned that today to Sephora. It was a hot mess. Um, it was chalky. The shades weren't pigmented, powdery. It just, it sucked. So that one. Ma um, Pink Mascara and Katie asked me, are you considering having babies? Absolutely. Um, my husband and I are working on that right now. Virgo Love 77, what does your husband think of your excessive makeup collection? Does he support you? I already answered that question. Um, he does support me. I mean, to an extent, as long as like our bills get paid, which they do, like he doesn't really say anything because again, he has loads of guns. So, um, he supports me. S Jessica S3 asked me what kind of nurse are you? What's your specialty? I'm a registered nurse and I work in, on the cardiac unit. I take care of uh, post-op open heart surgery patients. Uh, makeup reviewer, my girl Madeline asked me, um, if you got stuck on a deserted island, which choice of only one makeup product would you have and what would it be? I mean, it would honestly be chapstick if that's a makeup uh, like a makeup item like I have chapstick everywhere some sort of lip moisturizer everywhere in my house I have one next to my bed I have one in my car I have one at work in my locker I have them in my scrub pockets like I have them everywhere I probably have four in my purse I freak out if I do not have chapstick like if my lips get dry like I start panicking like ah I have to have some sort of lip moisturizer. Judith Darling asked me, how did you meet your husband? Would you do the hubby tag? <laughs> so the story of how I met my husband is kind of hilarious. Um, we met seven years ago at a bar. So I had just bought a BMW. So I went out, I picked up my girls and we like, you know, we're driving around the BMW, went to like, well, we went to some bars in my city and I was with my girlfriend and we, you know, had a couple of drinks. We we're going to the restroom. She was like holding my hand, like pulling me to the restroom. And there's like a, a room where people play pool and it's like super dark and I have to walk past that to get to the restroom. So I walk past that and some guy like try to grab my hand and I look and like he does this like so gross and like I was like ew and my friend like <gasps> pulled my hand and took me to the restroom and then we came out and we're like just uh, talking having our drinks with all my other friends and he comes up to me again I'm like dude what's this guy's deal and there was another guy that was standing next to me that I knew from high school and so I was like thinking in my head, I'm going to pretend like this guy's my boyfriend so this guy leaves me alone. So my husband was like, you know, trying to talk to me, na na nah. And I just obviously wasn't about it. So I was like, oh, have you met my friend so-and-so, which is the guy. And my husband was like, yeah, like I met him before. That's my little brother. And I promise you, I almost shit my pants. I was like what you guys you guys are brothers like oh shit so I obviously felt so bad that I tried to pawn off this dude as my boyfriend so this guy would leave me alone so I gave him my number he is a very persistent dude and would call and call and like so yeah seven years later we're married almost eight years so yeah 
Okay, and then second part to her question is would you do the hubby tag? I would do it, but my husband is not down to get on film. I have asked him hundreds and hundreds of times, and he was like, why would they want to see me? So, I don't know. I'll keep working on it. We'll see. He's a funny guy. Everybody loves him. It's kind of annoying. Everybody loves him, but okay. Baby girl 1920 asked, what's your ethnicity? I'm African American. My dad is from Ghana and it's in West Africa. And then my mother is from Ohio. So I'm African American. Um, is your hair natural or permed? It is natural. I have not had a relaxer or perm in 19 years since I was 10. Um, do you travel outside of the US? I've only ever been to Mexico. That's it. I need I need to travel outside. The, I want to, but I've only been in Mexico. Makeup and scrubs. XOXO asked, do you have kids? Do you want kids? Yes, um, I do want kids. We're working at that. Can you please talk a little bit about your nursing school experience? So I have a video on my nursing school experience. I am going to do another one because it would just take too much of this video if I talked about that. So if you guys have any specific questions about nursing school or a life as a nurse or nursing as a career, leave them down below and I will answer all those questions in a separate video. And um, what part of Cali do you live in? Southern California, like Orange County, Riverside County area. Um, do you have any siblings? I have two sisters, an older sister who is also a registered nurse, and then a younger sister who is 12. Um, Tracy M. NYC asks, do you ever feel like, OMG, I have way too much makeup? Absolutely. When my, my makeup room 99% of the time is a disaster, and when I'm attempting to clean it, I do feel like, oh my goodness, like, I try to think of how much my makeup collection would be worth, and it would be like, like thousands of dollars. So there are times where I think that I have way too much makeup, but then I look at it, and I just love it so much. I just love it all. So... I just deal. Nick No Fire asked me, Hi Mika, I was wondering if you ever make family vlogs. I am going to buy a vlogging camera soon, probably when my tax return comes, so I do plan on doing vlogs. Hopefully I can sneak my husband into the vlog, so yes girl, I plan on it. Claire Bear 5208 what is your top three drugstore products? NYC Liquid Liner, um, Mulani lipsticks, and my Revlon Color Stay Foundation, which I love, but unfortunately the CEO is a douchebag, so I'm not using it right now, but those are my top three favorite. All right, now the YouTube questions that I received. Um, Unique Breeze asked me, is your beauty room a dedicated space? And what does your hubby think about it? Yes, my beauty room is, we have a four bedroom house, just my husband and I. We have our master bedroom, a guest bedroom. I have my beauty room and he has his man cave. So he doesn't care that I have a beauty room because he has a man cave. So it would only be fair, right? I have a place for my makeup. He has a place for his gun. Mary Bell Venezuela asked me, what is your all time favorite palette? My all time favorite palette is the Rock Pro. What other beauty bloggers do you watch? Um, obviously I watch Miss Liz Hart and um, Stephanie SL Miss Glam. I also watch um, Nature B, Start to Finish MUA, um, The Glam Twins. I watch, oh my goodness, like, I'm trying to think of my subscription box. Um, Ready, Set, Glamour. The people that I watch, I actually kind of know and talk to most of the time. And then there's a few of those you know, bigger people, but I seriously watch so many people. I just, I love, I love watching YouTube. I watch YouTube more than I watch television. Um, Chris and Makeup asked me, um, what are your YouTube goals for 2015? I really want to put out really good content that you guys enjoy. I want to be more consistent with my uploading videos and just really start to get creative with my ideas and what I'm doing and putting out for you guys. 
I also want to kind of just grow my channel as a whole as far as me growing and my subscribers going and my my family growing. Courtney Wallace asks, are you a Beyonce fan? Absolutely. I love, love me some Beyonce. Love. Um, Ulta or Sephora? Sephora. Just because... I love, Ulta doesn't have NARS, Ulta doesn't have Makeup Forever, there's so many like brands that I love that Ulta does not carry, but I love Ulta's rewards program way better than Sephora. So if I can get it at Ulta, I'll get it, but if I can get it at Sephora, I'll get it there, if that makes any sense. Stephanie Cole asked me, what does your husband and family think about your massive makeup collection? So I already talked about my husband. My mom thinks I am absolutely crazy. <laughs> she is just like, she laughs. Like sometimes I have my mail sent to her house so my husband doesn't say anything and she just laughs at me. Um, my nieces think I'm famous. And my sister, my sister doesn't share my makeup enthusiasm. I wish she really did, my older sister. My younger sister lives in Arizona, if you're curious, so. Um, but my older sister, she doesn't, I mean, we, ha we have the nursing bond, so we call each other and talk about our patients, but as far as makeup, we're just not there. When I, like, am giving stuff away, she doesn't want it. Um, so, I don't know, like, she, she they're all supportive. Vianney Vasquez asked, um, she's another nurse as well, she asked, have you considered doing YouTube full-time and leaving your current occupation? Um, so that's a, that's a hard question. So currently right now, n no. Um, I There's no way I could support myself <laughs> just by doing beauty videos. Um, but if my channel were to grow and, and financially it'd be an option, I don't think I would ever leave my job. I think I would go down to part time or per diem, but I love nursing so much that I could never just, just quit cold turkey. So I'll either go down to two days a week or I'll just do like the on call thing a couple of days a week, but no, I would, no, never, ever, ever, ever quit, ever. Ber Berea zero zero asked how long have you been married um we have been married since September of 2013 are you going to film a video with your husband I will try but he is just a little stubborn man um how much money a month do you spend on makeup Ooh, I would say I spend f about 500 bucks a month I know that's a lot um, some months I do good and don't spend that much some months I do really bad and I spend more than 500 so maybe I would say like average 400 but I am going on the low buy only giving myself $200 a month to spend on makeup let's see how that works out oh may the Lord be with me um, miss Shabria Gladney asked me um, what's your favorite drugstore and high-end brand drugstore is it uh, who? NYX. I was gonna say Milani, but their lipsticks are just kind of like my favorite. NYX has foundation, lipsticks, powders, has everything. So, and it's it's becoming more available at the drugstore. So I would say NYX. Um, and then she also asked my favorite high end brand. Um, I would have to say NARS. Um, Christina Lestiva asked, did you go to cosmetology school? No. How did you get into makeup? Um, random, just Googled a video and it popped up and like, boom, I fell in love. Do you have a pet? Yes, I have a dog, Zoe, which I'm not, I think I put a picture of her on my Instagram. I don't know if I've had her in a video. I don't think I've had her in a video yet. What is your favorite emoji? That's so funny. Oh my gosh. It would have to be this girl. It's my favorite. How tall are you? I am six feet tall. I am tall and I will still rock five inch heels. So I'm six, I'm six feet. And my husband is six three. Would you rather have no eyebrow hair growth or no head hair growth? No eyebrow? I'm gonna fill that shit in. I'd rather have no eyebrow. At what age do you start wearing makeup? I started wearing makeup in high school, but like, Lord knows I didn't know how to put it on, and I'm sure I looked a hot mess. 
What is something you're very bad at? Now, something I'm very bad at is hiding how I feel. You know, if, if somebody were to give you a gift that you didn't like, you would be able to read that all over my face. You know, it, when my husband's mad at, when I'm mad at my husband, you can read that all over my face. Like, I am not good at hiding my emotions, not whatsoever. All right, you guys, so that is it from this Q&A. If you have some questions that did not get answered that you would like me to answer in my next Q&A, leave them down in the comments below. If you are a nurse or a nursing school or an aspiring nursing student, and have specific questions about anything nursing related then leave those down below as well and I will answer those in a separate video thank you guys so much for asking me all your amazing questions and yeah make sure you subscribe if you aren't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and until next time I'll see you in my next video bye guys